I hope I hope every member of the of who who listens to us who's a Giants fan is listening. I'm gonna say that the most clutch quarterback is Tony Romo. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say that's probably a joke because I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I, I am going with Eli Manning, just not not because he is any really that clutch anymore. I mean, he hasn't. I I can't even tell you the last time he's made a fourth quarter comeback, like a large fourth, not like a two point fourth quarter comeback, but a large fourth <laughs> quarter comeback. It was probably 2006, which was a long, that's a long time ago. But the thing is, if it's the last drive and it's the Super Bowl, then yeah, I want Eli Manning to be my quarterback because he's just he he's on fire and on that last drive. Uh, I mean, it it doesn't. I mean, it's no coincidence that both that. Two super the two Super Bowls he's been part of the last drive he's been a part of that he's been able to get a touchdown on the board at some point in time whether it yeah. be a, run, a, a third down pass whether it be a pass that that majestically you know he greased himself up with butter and none of the linemen could take him down throws throws this mystical magical pass to David Tyree and David Tyree catches the ball and it's just like my gosh like the most one of the most amazing Super Bowl catches I've ever seen all right now I'm gonna stop. and then they go win the game st- yeah I'm gonna stop jerking off the Giants my hands are no hands no are but <laughs> the thing is though with Eli Manning it's like he's very durable too mm-hmm. so I mean I mean I understand we're just talking about a single game winning drive yeah. but in terms of the grand aspect of things like if you look at Eli Manning's road to his Super Bowl titles it was a very long treacherous path for the most part he and had to go through and it wasn't just the defense that was like the thing yeah, is the it's... thing is the you could say oh the defense stopped the Patriots in the Super Bowl because both times while the Patriots didn't really allow a lot of points they weren't particularly like the greatest defense ever like they were the they were the best overall team because they had a good defense and a good offense but when you look at those playoff games plays against Tampa Bay great defense plays against Dallas best team in the conference plays against the Packers toughest place to win in a playoff game so yeah I think yeah and sorry to cut you off but like if we're looking at the playoff game that occurred against the Packers this year it wasn't his fault that the Giants lost. It's because his team let him down. O- Odell, could, I mean, Odell could well, catch a more, cold. Yeah, yeah he, wasn't, he couldn't catch a cold out there that day. No, yeah. he really couldn't. And, uh, I mean, once I saw him drop a few in a row, I knew that game was over because I'm like, he, Eli can't do it by himself, and he doesn't have enough help around him yeah. to make yeah, more specifically, yeah, the wide receiver core. Because I guarantee if the wide receiver core was on its game, the Giants would have probably won that game because the Packers were completely ra- – well, the offense of the Packers was completely rattled because – They couldn't do anything. You know, they couldn't do anything in that game until, like, the last two drives of the second quarter. Yeah, they and that's when the game anything. broke open for them because then – because, like, all they had to do was just – they didn't have to worry as much about the wide receiving core of the Giants because no. they weren't on their game. And they weren't on their game. They weren't on their game to begin with. I mean, the Giants had what two drives in which they made it into it, like into like the into the red zone ten yard line. I think Odell Beckham had a chance to catch the ball in the end zone, and he dropped it. 